hello guys so for today's reading we are going to be looking into what is the karma of the liars and storytellers in your life so we have three piles today one two three take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to and if you guys enjoy this reading remember to like share comment subscribe think about leaving a timestamp or a donation or hitting that super thanks button or ordering a personal reading all those ways are great ways that you can give back energetically for the energetic healing sessions i bring to you guys regularly and i thank you so much for anything that you guys do i really appreciate it and it means the world to me so in today's reading if you comment below you will be entered into the contest for a drawing for a free personal reading it's a half hour video session through skype and I will be giving away two of them for hitting 3,000 subscribers. Thanks to all of you who've been liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I have reached 3,000 subscribers, and I truly appreciate all of you and everything you do for me. So I'm giving back to you to show that appreciation. Make sure that you comment down below and you hit the notification button so that you can see when I post the winners on my community page. And let's get started with pile one. For pile one, before I start this pile, I'm going to let you guys know as well that I will be holding a contest in this reading. I've reached 3,000 subscribers, thanks to all of you, and so I'm giving back to you to show that appreciation and gratitude, and I will be giving away two half-hour video sessions through Skype, and if you comment below, you'll be entered into that drawing. Make sure you hit the bell notification so that you can see when I post the winners on my community channel or community page whatever <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for being here and for supporting me in whatever ways you do I really appreciate it and let's get started with your pile so pile number one what is the karma of the liars and storytellers in your life often overlooked but totally golden so you have often been overlooked but you are totally golden. You are definitely somebody that is worth your weight in gold. And also, I feel like uh, maybe you've had to look at a lot of people in your life with kind of a side-eye thing because you might be a little bit paranoid at this time or have been in the past because of the hurt, pain, and trauma that you've been put through because of the people around you. But I feel like you're going to be freeing yourself from this. And I also feel like a lot of people are going to end up looking at these people that way because they're going to start to realize that the things they're talking about don't even make sense. They don't add up. Nothing lines up. And so people are going to be looking at them like, yeah, I can't really trust you at this point. And I don't know if I want to. Capricorn, ambitious. Leo, generous. Aries, Virgo. So this person's going to be facing a lot of inner turmoil, a lot of overthinking. They're going to end up causing a lot of fights or drama or chaos in their own lives because they are going to be very worried, possibly even about you lashing out or seeking revenge. Even if you've washed your hands of this situation completely, they may be looking over their shoulder constantly, worried, nervous, afraid of what's going to happen. Some of them may actually even be visited by some sort of paranormal activities. You could definitely have your ancestors behind you that are like, hey, you fucked with my person. Now I'm going to fuck with you. Let's see how you like it. So there could definitely be some of that going on as well that this person is having to deal with, which could be causing even more paranoia or constant looking over their shoulder, things like that. This person also could be dealing with, um, this person could have been in their pride and ego very much so. And now this person's kind of reaping the rewards of that. And they may also have to watch you go into some sort of leadership role while they're busy stuck in the same repeating cycles or in some sort of codependency energy. J, V, Junior Varsity, W, these don't want to pick up off this table, I, N, Win, so they're going to have to watch you win, Wives, V, Wine, Wino, I, O, yeah, this person may end up um, drinking a lot to deal with whatever it is that they're dealing with, B, G, Big, Bin, O, Gown, U, 
W. For some of you, this person may even have to watch you get married to somebody that they were rooting against in your life or something that they were trying to stop. Vows, F, D, Fidelity, E, U, X. So EX is here too. This could be an X. Z, H, Hex. Uh, this could also be somebody who tried to hex you in some sort of way. Nova. Now. Down. Down, down, down. Oh. <laughs> I don't know any other lyrics from that, but that's part of a song. Wide. Vine. Jog. Frown. Found. Found out. They're going to get found out. Houdini. All their tricks are going to be catching up to them. There's a lot of karma that this person's going to be facing. Either that or there's a lot of different karmas that different people of this pile are going to be facing. I feel like um, for some of you, this person could have actually lied about being married to Bougie. They could have also been lying about um, being materialistic. They may have been very materialistic. And this could have been part of the reason why they were against you. You may not have had things that they wanted on that front. Fine. Hide. Somebody could be getting a fine or a ticket in some sort of way. Um, somebody could be feeling like they have to hide from the world as well and like they can't be seen in public for some reason. Something may be being exposed that's going to be very embarrassing for this person. Firefly. Shark. Somebody else may actually be exposing this person. Peacock, their shallowness, the fact that they don't have anything but looks to offer to the world is something that may be being exposed as well. Um, this person may have actually been very jealous of your depth and who you were underneath. This person could have been somebody who targeted you, targeted you intentionally in some sort of way, basically trying to draw blood. This person did not realize that you are somebody that is not to be fucked with. Um, you're definitely a light in the dark for others. People find hope from you. You're an inspiration to a lot of people. You light the way ahead for a lot of people. And this person is going to be stuck in darkness with no way out because I feel like you may have actually even helped them out of this darkness in the past, but you're no longer there because you have walked away. So that could be a lot of this person's karma as well. Yeah, this person was very jealous of you, bitter, resentful, looking at you like you had everything and feeling like they had nothing. And so they were trying to sabotage the successes you were creating in your life in some sort of way. Five of Wands and the Six of Cups. So this person um, tried to create a lot of fights around you, a lot of arguments, a lot of tension around you because of the way that they were feeling. They could have even like planned it out or timed it out in some sort of way to match up with things that you were going through or something like that. This person could have lied about different dates or times that things had happened or the ways things that had happened. Maybe even they lied about the fights or arguments that you had and what they were about. This person's going to be dealing with a lot of fights inside of their home, maybe even with their own children. They're going to be dealing with a lot of having to clear out and heal their roots. They're going to have to be looking back on the past and seeing things in a different light. Some of them may even be stuck and trapped in some sort of nostalgia and remembering the good moments and uh, really getting very stuck and lost in that. Feeling like they had a victory, sure, but it was a very hollow victory because this victory led to them being alone, basically. Others choose to leave, yeah. Led to them being alone. Loneliness and misery have to, they have to face and climb out of. They will be bound up in their own mind and they can't release the prison of their own making. They won't be able to stop you or, and will have to watch you win. Exactly. Looking into a mirror or reflecting on the past will be very painful for them. So this person, once again, it's pretty much everything I've already explained expressed here people are going to be leaving this person they're going to be stuck alone on their own having to face the things that they've 
caused the misery and pain they've caused to others and to themselves. They're going to have to climb out of this. They're going to realize that they've been self-sabotaging while they were trying to hurt you. They only hurt themselves. And this person's going to be feeling like there's no way up. There's no way out. They're going to be really bound up in their own mind. They're going to be um, stuck in a prison of their own making, constantly overthinking things, obsessing over things, maybe even a lot of paranoia as well. And they're really going to be looking into a mirror at the past. They're going to see the happiness and the good times and how they really fucked everything up. And it's just miserable now. And they have no one to blame except for themselves. They're also going to be watching you win and there's nothing they're going to be able to do to stop you. There is no way they're going to be able to keep you from the success that you deserve from the seeds that you have planted nourished had patience for determination faith persistence everything that you have done is going to be flourishing into something beautiful and this person's going to have to watch it and they're also going to have to face all the lies that they've told and all the stories that they've created about who you are as a person because all of a sudden there's going to be a lot of people around you and they're going to be seeing through all the bs because they're going to be seeing your actions and they're going to be remembering this person words and they're going to be putting two and two together this person thought everybody was too stupid to figure everything out but everybody has figured everything out so that is pretty much what i got for this pile and if you guys enjoyed this reading i would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it whether or not it resonated it's 11 11 on the clock right now um if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp or a donation, hit that super thanks button, or look into purchasing a personal reading. You can find the prices and how to do that in my description box below. All those things are great ways that you can give back for what I bring to you, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you who does that, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. It was 11.44 on the clock when I just looked at that. So there's definitely, you're going to be enjoying life. You're going to be celebrating life. You're going to be building a solid, stable foundation for yourself. You're going to be very aligned with who you are, what your values are, and where you're going in life. And I feel like that may be a portion of this person's karma as well. So let's see for pile two what the per the karma is of the liars and the storytellers that you're dealing with in your life and before we start this is the reading where you can enter a drawing for the contest for a free giveaway of a half hour video session through skype and i just hit 3,000 subscribers so as a way to say thank you for all of you and your support i'm giving away two free readings Remember to hit the bell notifications so that you can see when I post the winners on my community page. And good luck. So let's get into this reading. Sacrificial lamb. Sacrificial lamb. And this bird. It reminds me of a mama bird. Um, you could definitely have some very protective uh, beings on the, in the spiritual realm, especially if you have some sort of mother or grandmother or aunt figure, somebody that was very mother-like in your life on the other side, they are definitely watching over you. But they also know that unless you shove a bird out of the nest, sometimes it will never fly and trust its own wings. So you had to be able to trust your own wings to be able to get out there and fly. Um, and another thing this is reminding me of is Daniel and the lions have faith and trust that the power that they think they have over you, they do not have over you because the power of your divine beings, your angels, your ancestors, your spiritual allies, the ascended masters is so much more strong than anything that these people could do. This person was trying to throw you under the bus, trying to scapegoat you, trying to use you to cover up whatever it is that they were doing. And you may have actually even, um, threw this person out there on their own. You may have walked away. You may have gotten sick of dealing with the BS, the drama, the chaos that this person liked to cause in your life and the lives of others through manipulation. This person may be somebody who is kind of like a puppet master. They love to pull the strings of everyone and see how they're going to react. You know what else this reminds me of? They say there's no black magic in the Bible, but yet when you slaughter the innocent and use that blood to put it over your door to block out the magic coming to still the sons of the firstborn of every person, I would say that's black magic. It's not a good thing to slaughter the innocent and spread its blood above your door. Think about that for a minute. 
I don't know how nobody sees that. People are very blind to things sometimes, but that's what that makes me think of is black magic. Slaughtering lambs to place the blood above your door to stop a curse from attacking you. Yeah, that's that's dark magic. That's not white magic. That's dark magic. Anyway, Pisces, Aries, Leo. Somebody could actually be using some form of um, religious background to hide who they truly are as a person as well. Aquarius, friendly. You definitely have people on the other side protecting you. Libra, father, mother, grandmother. Uh, this could have something to do with your own mother as well or your uh, in-laws, especially a mother-in-law. This could have something to do with an ex as well or a child. This could have something to do with somebody wanting to sacrifice your child in some sort of way. Um, this could actually have to do with somebody who is extremely jealous of the fact that you have been able to raise your children different than the way that they raised theirs and that you proved them wrong, that the way that they were raising their children was extremely toxic. And now that toxicity is starting to show in your children because maybe they have had a very strong influence in your children's lives in some sort of way. Somebody could actually be telling a lot of stories about you to throw you under the bus so they don't have to face the music in some sort of way. L, Lily, mm. Aries, courageous again, again with the Aries. Yeah, somebody is really trying to cause a lot of drama, chaos, fights, arguments, a lot of pride and ego at play here. Somebody is not a very good leader. Um, somebody is definitely going to make sure that this person who is trying to sacrifice those that you love or sacrifice you is going to pay. F, W, daisies could be important too. J, M, Jameson, S, Y, L, Sylvia, Silly, Y, H, Halfway, X, Z, N, P, O, Paula, Pool, A, O, G, D, Goody, Goody Two Shoes, Godly, godliness is next uh, cleanliness is next to godliness yeah so this is somebody who's like holier than thou tries to present this picture of innocence and purity tries to um show the world that they're this goody two-shoes so nobody would ever believe anything bad about them and uh this person knows that a lot of people judge the book by the cover and people by the cover of you may judge you very harshly. So this person was thinking that they could get away with this, but it is definitely something they're not going to get away with. DC crowd, crowd, crowd funding, crown, R, G. This person tried to take your crown. You should see me in a crown by Billie Eilish is coming to mind now too. Y, Z, D, lazy, lazy day. Um, there's a song by Bruno Mars called Lazy Too that may resonate with somebody. Brown, proud, photo, grown, sewn, lawn, lash, lashing out. This person could actually be dealing with a lot of lashing out right now as well from the people that they lied to or the people that they were trying to keep under their control. Soap, Soapy, Sophie. Halloween Town is coming to mind. Hog, Gone. Goody, uh, what is her name from The Crucible? Something. <laughs> If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. And if you know, it probably resonates with you in some way. Clumsy. Crummy. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Two of swords. Three of wands. Ace of wands. Nine of cups. So, because of the choices this person made and the actions that they went through with, you have found out just how stable and strong you are on your own. 
that you don't need anyone emotionally, that you are at peace regardless of who's around you and what's going on. You are, have found a lot of new inspiration. You've seen things from new perspectives. You have a lot of drive, motivation, and ambition right now. You're very at peace with your decisions to move away from shit and to allow them to come into you. You're going to be receiving a lot of messages here soon. A lot of things that you have put a lot of time, effort, and energy into. A lot of visualization techniques into. you. The things you've been working on manifesting are going to be coming into fruition. And you're going to be having a new beginning. A very inspiring, beautiful, peaceful new beginning. Your wishes are going to be coming true. And this person is going to be having to watch that. This person is also going to start noticing that people around them are going to see how selfish they are, how cruel they are, how um, indecisive they can be at times as well. And the actions they've taken against you are going to be seen and your grace, your integrity, your dignity, the way you held your head high, the way you took the high road is going to be being seen as well. You're a very non-judgmental, open-minded person. You love to learn a lot about a lot of different things. You are one of those people who this song probably resonates with very much. Love is My Religion by Ziggy Marley. Um, there's going to be a lot of magical things happening in your life. Your faith and your dedication is going to be bringing in a lot of good things for you. This person is going to be dealing with a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, they're not going to know where to go, where to turn. They're going to be feeling very alone. They're going to be feeling like their selfishness has caused them a lot of pain. They're also going to be seeing that you can create a new family anywhere, even if they thought that they were leaving you alone and out in the cold, that you are never alone. And since this person believes in magic, they're going to believe that you are protected from their magic. And they're going to believe that a lot of bad things are coming their way for fucking with somebody so pure because I don't think they realize just how pure you actually were. They may have really thought different. No more downtime. Hard work ahead. All truths will be uncovered. Comatose. Asleep on the important endeavors. Seeing things from your shoes. So this person's going to have to experience the same torment and turmoil that they put you through. This person may have told a lot of nasty lies about you and who you are as a person. They may have even tried to claim that you were abusive in some sort of way. That you were an addict. That you were an alcoholic. That you were a slut or a whore. They may have been trying to color everyone's view of you in very negative, nasty, disgusting ways. Despicable ways. They may have been trying to convince people that you were a shit person and that whoever these people were, were better off with them in their life than you in their life. And these people are starting to realize that this is a very selfish, bitter um, person, a very resentful person, a very jealous and envious person who was just trying to steal everything that you had created for yourself because you had created your wishes come true. And um, all these people bought into it. But these people are going to start to realize the holy shit, look at what this person's been doing. This person's no longer going to get to be lazy. This person's no longer going to get everybody else to do their shit for them. This person is no longer going to get to live off of the energy of others. This person is going to have to really step up to the plate and do some hard work. This person's going to get to see things from your shoes. So everything that you have gone through because of this person, this person is going to be experiencing in their own life because this person has, is reaping what they have sown. This person is definitely going to be, um, they may even end up missing house payments or car payments. They may end up just fucking everything in their life up because they are asleep on the important things because they're so obsessed with what you're doing, where you're going, what you're wearing, um, who's around you, how they can destroy your life more, all those kinds of things. This person is going to be um, imbibing in things too much. This person may, like I said before, be drowning their issues in alcohol or drugs because of the messes that they have created around them so that is what I have for this pile and I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading
I would love to hear what you guys had to say about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated, what you might be going through, who these people could be. And if you guys did enjoy this reading, remember to hit the like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the timestamp, or leave a timestamp, hit the super thanks button, donate, look into the prices for my personal readings and think about purchasing one. All those things are great ways that you can help me out and support me in this channel and being here for you. And I really, truly appreciate each and every one of you that supports me in whatever way you do. So thank you so much for that. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. For pile three, before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that this will be the reading that the contest is being held in for a chance to win a half hour video session through Skype. So if you want to be entered into that, comment below and make sure you hit the little bell notification so that when I post the winners, you'll see it on my community page. And I just hit 3,000 subscribers. I really wanted to show my Thank you and my gratitude to you guys for all the support because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And thank you so much for that. So let's get started with pile one. <coughs> and good luck to you guys on winning. Oops, I dumped half of it everywhere. <laughs> Just a second. Okay. I did not read none of those. Anyway. So let's see, the karma of the liars and storytellers in your life. Curiosity is healthy and natural. We are all mad here. The best ones are. So the people that you're dealing with could have been telling stories about your mental health, your emotional health, could have been trying to convince people that you were crazy, that you were unstable, that you needed someone to um, lock you up or watch over you, or you uh, couldn't be trusted to be around children or animals, or that you were just somebody that was off your rocker completely nuts, so nobody would ever believe anything that came out of your mouth. This could definitely have been a situation where you were used as a scapegoat in some sort of way. These people also could have been telling stories about how plain you are or... Uh, how or how they could have been talking about some of the things that you were doing in your life and how you shouldn't have been doing those things because they're dangerous or just you're unhinged, crazy, um, mentally and emotionally fucked up or something along those lines. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, there is definitely a very strong presence of the ancestors in all of these readings today to but they are here to protect you to step in to do something about these people and they are definitely going to make these people's lives a living hell aries they're sick of watching you be abused by these people the two-faced people that have lied and been so cruel in your life scorpio cancer so this could definitely have something to do with your family. You could have been the scapegoat of your family. All of your siblings could have turned against you. There could have definitely been some targeting here. There could have been some gang stalking here. There could have been people hiding behind fake profiles and fucking with you in some sort of way. Um, one of the amazing things that came from this is you have developed a much thicker skin and you are no longer so sensitive to the harsh cruelties of the people around you. And yeah, there was definitely a telephone game going on here where people were taking what you were saying, coloring it with lies, and then spreading it to others as well. People playing both sides. Definitely people playing both sides, causing chaos, drama, conflict. Um, could have something to do with your in-laws. Could have something to do with your siblings. Could have something to do with your parents. Or uh, I feel like there is definitely a parent for a lot of you in this pile that is on the other side that may actually be really pissed off about what is going on here. Um, the song that just came to mind is Beast by Carlene. I think it's Carlene. K-A-R-L-I-E-N-E, -E, I think. To defeat the hunter, you can't remain their prey. You have to become their equal in every way. And you have worked hard to become an equal. You are no longer in a state where you can be triggered by others. You are no longer in a state where their actions affect you. You are really um, exploring in a very healthy and natural way 
learning the world around you much more and you're no longer afraid or paranoid you, they may have even had you in that state of like fear and paranoia in a lot of ways and the knowing k n q sun kissed t t you know what um some of you may have actually had a sibling that gave you a very hard time as a child. They could have told you you were adopted or you were found under a rock. Or if you had freckles that a cow farted in your face and it, you know, that's what caused the freckles. Or something along those lines. You really didn't have people to tell you good things as a child. TTF. S, maybe you're exposing a lot of those secrets and that's why they wanted people to think that you were crazy, psycho. S, P, psychic. The knowing, yeah, I feel like a lot of you in this pile are clairvoyant as well. ZW, which is another reason why they wanted to shut you up and they didn't want anybody listening to you. CMU, mute, mutt, Z. This could even be a case where, you know, your siblings were only half siblings and so they're like, oh, you're not my sibling because you're only half blood or something. I don't know. C Z. D, which is really fucked up and it sounds awful, but you know what? I've known people like that. J, J, D, D, J, Z, Jazz, D, J from Full House came to mind too. L, P, Pulp Fiction, Z, G, Guts, T, Gust, P, S, P, T, S, D, um, you could definitely have had to deal with a lot of PTSD because of these people. Another way to tell that your ancestors are with you when you're feeling sad or upset about something and you're sitting outside and all of a sudden a gust of wind comes up, know that that's them letting you know, hey, you're not alone. And if you ask for it, they'll send another one. <clears throat> Lump. Pump. Dump. Breastfeeding is coming to mind. Fuzz, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. If Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair, then Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very Fuzzy Wuzzy. That's been coming up in my mind a lot lately. Um, <clears throat> police could have something to do with this as well. This person may end up suffering from a lot of PTSD. This person may actually be going through a situation right now where they are becoming the scapegoat. This person could actually be dealing with cancer for some of you as well. They may end up finding a lump in their breast or something like that. Facts. The facts are going to be being exposed. Papers are going to be found. Paper trail. There's definite, there could definitely be a paper trail for something here where somebody lied about something and it's going to be being exposed. There Maybe there was text messages or some sort of letters or emails or something. The whale, the horse, the scorpion. You cannot be broken. You cannot be tamed. You cannot be turned down. Your volume is not something that can be muted. I feel like this person's going to have to listen to a lot of painful truths from others. The poison they're spreading is going to be very ineffective. This person's going to be feeling like they're backed into a corner. They're going to become very defensive, maybe even volatile and angry. This person is also going to be having to watch your compassion, your understanding. Your, you have forgiven this person. This person can't forgive themselves, but you have forgiven this person. And that's a pain that's eating at them, gnawing at their soul in some sort of way. Also, I feel like others are seeing your compassion, your empathy, your understanding, your kindness, your care, your concern, the way that you are. I feel like um, because of everything that you've been through, you're an amazingly kind and beautiful soul. And a lot of what is exposing these people is also your actions and new people meeting you. The Tower, the Seven of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, this person may actually have a lot of things fall apart in their life and they may have to seek you out because they may be looking for that forgiveness and understanding. This person may be dealing with a whole lot. They're going to be dealing with a whole lot on their plate at once and they're going to be having a very hard time managing it. 
And also I feel like they have watched you manage all of everything that's been on your plate this whole time and you've done it with a smile on your face and a bounce in your step. So that's gonna be eating at them too. Your patience, your persistence, your dedication, your faith and your trust in everything that you've been doing and everything that you've been growing is going to be paying off. There's gonna be a lot of people around you to support you. There's gonna be a lot of abundance coming your way. There's gonna be a lot of health coming your way because you've put the time, energy and effort into your self care so that you can be a healthy person and that's gonna be paying off as well. It doesn't matter what has been happening in your life or how many towers there has been. You have been very confident, stable, strong, solid throughout everything. And this person's going to be tested in the same ways that you have been. And they may not make it through these tests. Severe anger issues. Exactly. Emotional suppression exploding like a volcano. So once again, this person is going to be feeling very defensive, backed into a corner. They're going to be feeling very upset. They have been boxing everything up inside of themselves, not handling it in the right ways. They told people you were crazy because you had emotions and you weren't some robot. But this person's robotic exterior is about ready to break off of them and the Hulk is going to fucking come out from behind that. <clears throat> people are no longer going to believe their bullshit anymore because people are going to be looking at them like they're crazy. Someone is dedicated to taking them out. Will be found out. Denial was fake. A loss of things that are truly important. A reality check. So there is somebody that is very dedicated to taking them out. To taking them off their high horse. To making sure that they can break them down. Um, this person tried very hard to break you down. But I feel like there is somebody that is triggering them constantly, consistently. Getting under their skin. Burrowing in. Burrow within. I don't know what song that is, but... Burrow within. I think it's a Jacob Lee song. It might be um, Demons, Jacob Lee. I thought my demons were almost defeated. Then you took their side and you pulled them to freedom. Um, this person may actually come to you looking for help. Because this person will know that you have been through this because they did this to you. Denial was fake. They denied that they were involved in something. They scapegoated you so it would look like you were this crazy fucking nutcase and nobody would believe what you were saying. But their denial of participating in something that was truly heinous and fucked up and massive betrayal of you and the love and kindness and compassion and empathy that you showed them is going to be being uncovered and there is going to be a loss that happens of things that are truly important to them. The ones that they love, the ones that they care about, the um, truly important things in life. This person may have placed far too much importance on monetary value or on things instead of people. This person may actually, even when they explode in that anger, they may actually end up killing somebody accidentally or hurting something, somebody very badly. Some of them could end up in jail. Uh, they may end up putting somebody in the hospital or something along those lines. And this could be somebody that is very, very important to them. But because they repress these things for so long, it, it's going to end up coming out in a very volatile way. <coughs> and that's also how people are going to find out that they truly were. I feel like this could definitely have been somebody, not only were they lying about you, they may have actually been physically abusing you in some sort of way and nobody believed you because, oh, this person's so calm all the time. Oh, this person's a fucking robot with no emotions. Oh, this person would never do anything like that because this person's always so mature and blah de blah de blah de blah de blah Yeah, my ex is one of those. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, this person's just going to explode and turn into a raging steroidal hulk and fucking tear everything apart. And it's not just going to be the things around them that they do this to. It's going to be the people around them that they do this to. And so there is going to be something very negative that ends up coming from this person's actions and behaviors that shows the entire world who they truly are and who you truly are. So that is what I have for this pile. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, remember to like 
like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a donation or a timestamp, hit that super thanks button, or check out my personal reading prices and think about purchasing one. All of those are great ways to help me out and support me on my path as I'm here to support you on yours. And I truly thank each and every one of you who has been there to do that. You guys are fucking amazing and I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye guys.